Hey, it's Leah of Swim Shares. I started this vlog series about feeding tubes about two years ago, and I did a grand whopping total of four videos over six months before I stopped because I didn't have the energy and I kept putting it off. So now it's two years later, and I've somehow still gotten some really nice comments and subscribers, despite the fact that I haven't posted in two years. So um, I'm gonna really make an effort to start these videos again. I no longer have a feeding tube though. I had to switch to TPN, uh, excuse me, my central line right here, it's, which is a form of tube feeding, but it's IV nutrition through this central line. But I will still talk about my experience with a uh, jejunal feeding tube, as well as what it's been like going on and staying on TPN. And uh, I'll talk about other chronic illness related stuff, either stuff I've learned living as a professional patient that I think might benefit someone to hear or stuff to help you explain a difficult concept to friends or family members. I'm not going to try and do one a week like I tried last time because I, I know better now. I'm, I'm gonna put them up as I do them, when I can, how I can, but I will do what I can. That I think brings me to the topic of this video, which seems a, a good place to reboot this vlog series. Productivity. Productivity with chronic illness is hard. It's really hard, no matter what level of functionality you have. You know it's not as high as it would be if you weren't sick. And that's really frustrating. Uh, and because our society is so productivity-based, like think of how often we hear the phrase productive member of society, it can feel like you're a useless drain on the resources of those around you. So in order to cope with that feeling of doing less than you would like to do, whether it's because you need more days off or more help at work or at school or because you can only work part-time or because, like me, you can't work at all, you just you have to throw out that whole productive member of the society narrative from your world completely. Just, just chuck it out the moon door along with Liza Aaron. Instead, just think about the people that you value in your life. Your, you know, your friends, your family, your seen others, your, your furry pets. Do you value them because of what they do and what they create or because of who they are and who they are to you? Creating stuff is awesome, don't get me wrong. And uh, I'm never going to be over the fact that I can't do much. That's never not going to hurt. And I just, I accept that. There are ways to cope with that. I am a big knitter. I love to knit. And part of the reason I love to knit, among other things, is that I can see myself adding something tangibly to the world. But the, the things I add, the things that I do, they don't define me as a person and it doesn't define your worth as a person. So go easy on yourself and remind yourself that you're living in a body that makes even the most simple of tasks feel Herculean. And when you're beating yourself up for not being able to do something because of symptoms, I'm gonna give you this sentence that has become a mantra of mine that a friend said to me when I had a migraine flare while trying to get ready for a friend's wedding. You will do what you can do and whatever that looks like will be okay. 